In Victoria, Stroman Middle School is now closed due to a recent air quality report. This while the next school year is less than a week away. 25 News Now reporter Adam Seibel spoke with the superintendent of Victoria ISD and has more. Stroman Middle School will close until further notice after mold was found within the building. This news comes as students and staff are gearing up to return back to the classroom August 18th. We spoke with Superintendent Dr. Quentin Shepard on how this will affect the Stroman staff. Our hearts just really go out to the staff at Stroman. I mean, they're, they're approximately a week away from starting school, and to get this news that they can't you know, go back into their school and that they're going to be displaced would be incredibly uncomfortable for anyone. For the time being, Stroman staff and students are going to be relocated to the Liberty Academy campus. Shepard says that the relocation to Liberty Academy is not a long-term solution. As for the students and staff at Liberty, they will start their school year at the Dr. Robert Jacklin's Conference Center. Superintendent Shepard says that a new air quality report should be in within a few weeks. I think it's a conversation for our community again. I mean, this is one of those things that we've used task forces in the past to say, if we know this is the cost and this is the timeline versus the reality that we've also got a bond that we're standing up in front of the community, what would the community have us do? There is a specially called Victoria ISD meeting this Friday at 4.30, right here at the administration building. Victoria ISD board trustees will discuss whether or not to call a voter-approved tax rate election to raise teacher pay, as well as a bond election which would cover high-priority repair items across the district. I'm Adam Seibel, KAVU-TV 25 News Now. This report comes months after voters rejected the VISD bond proposal, which would have set in place for the complete rebuild of the campus with a $156.8 million bond. The bond was voted down with about a 900 vote difference and a voter turnout of 14.6% out of a total of 49,286 registered voters.